Welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Aries in your chart. Please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is below in the description box. Okay, Aries. So, let's start. September 2023. Aries. Ace of Cups, King of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Okay, so messages of love. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? You're busy. Okay. So there is much that is going on, Aries. So when there is too much going on, um, we don't feel it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Mm. Okay, Aries, let's see. Okay, so some of you do not feel it, but it's happening. It's there. Love is all around you. Love is all around you, even though you may not feel it. Okay, Aries, let's see. Two more shuffles for Aries. And we are ready. For Aries, please. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Imagine that. Celebration. People coming together, having fun. Okay? Yes. Enjoying the moment, enjoying life. There is a lot of love here in this picture, right? Okay, so first card for you is the Knight of Swords. That's a bit aggressive. Mm. The Seven of Wands. Oh, the Five of Swords. Okay. Mm. Okay. We have the Page of Pentacles. The King of Cups. And the Page of Swords. Okay. Nine of Swords, the Magician. Three of Cups, very mixed energy. Mm. Like I do see you coming together with, you know, people that you love, people that they love you, people that care, okay? These could be like family members, friends, even co-workers, because we also have the Ace of Pentacles. So this is also showing me your work environment. But there is someone, or an, this could be a person or an energy that is a bit aggressive, Aries. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can see it here in the Five of Swords energy and in the Knight of Swords energy.
Now, with the Seven of Wands here, Okay, so you are against this. You are against this energy. You're fighting this energy off. And again, it could be also person, okay? That could be in your environment. As I said, this is an aggressive energy. Okay, someone that is very much in their ego. They are always right. Okay, there are, yes, there are always right. It's like, it's your fault, not my fault. And you should fix this. You are the one that needs to fix this. This is what this person is saying. Now, you here with your loving heart, you're showing a lot of compassion here, Aries, trying to understand, figure out where you were wrong. Okay. Maybe you said something or did something that triggered this person. And what that was. You're trying to figure out what that was that triggered this person. Or it could be also a group of people. I don't know. I'm just saying here. I mean, you are doing your own thing here. And you are in a good space. And this energy coming in, coming towards you, is like, okay, wait a minute. Why is this happening? We are, yes. We also had the full moon. Uh, yes, that was very powerful. Also, Mercury was, is still retrograde. So things from the past... Energies from the past, people from the past, mm, triggers from the past resurface so that we can, you know, deal with them and put a closure on them. Okay, to them, on them, for them. <laughs> okay. Now, Aries, this could be a person that has a lot of uh, water in their chart, like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't have to. But if this is a person in your life, if this is a person in your life, they, 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 they are a bit unstable. They're, they're too much in their feelings. Um assuming things but not in a good way you know they're, they're a bit negative a bit mm, more than just a bit it could be um i'm also detecting a a a, a bit of a, like um uh, of of jealousy here aries and i'm going to clarify the five of swords so let's start so as I, was, as I was saying, you are in a good space. So this is like a bit of a turn off. Like why now? Why this? You know, why is this coming in? Let's see. Purifying the Five of Swords for Aries. We have the Knight of Wands. And this is your energy. A rebellious energy of, you know, um, 
with a knight of wands here. <laughs> I don't know if you're pissed if you pissed someone off. I don't know <laughs> because you are in that energy um, of you know enjoying life, having fun, doing what you want to do. Um, and someone does not like that. It feels like they want to, they, their desire is to restrict you. In a way, this is what I'm getting. But um, you are not going to be stopped. Definitely not. And again, it doesn't have to be a person. It could be an energy that an energy that you know is 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 trying to put the brakes on this could be also for some of you it could be a part of you yes you know this voice inside of us that is like oh you're not gonna succeed no, you're not gonna make it. That that the nay no voice inside. Uh, yes, you understand what I mean. It could also be that you are experiencing some kind of blocks when it comes to your projects, your career. But again, this is not going to stop you. This is not stopping you because you are about to take a risk. Maybe you have already taken that risk, Aries. The Hermit. And for you, this is the right path. For you, this is the right choice. Whatever action you took or you're about to take is well thought. It is a wise decision, a wise choice. Okay, I want to clarify the Knight of Swords because also the Knight of Swords is a bit of an aggressive energy. So clarifying the Knight of Swords for Aries, we have the Knight of Wands. Again, I feel that someone has been hurt. Um, could be that you hurt someone's ego, Aries, without even realizing it. Yes? Hmm... They say that hurt people hurt people. This is what I'm seeing here with the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I mean, again, whatever is going on into your life, whatever choice you are about to make or you already made, I mean, this is your victory. It is your victory. Again, I'm getting the sense that you have been fighting for something, Aries. And again, you are the victor here. You are the winner. You are the victor. You are, you are victorious here.
So again, whatever blocks that have occurred, like have been uh, on, on, on the road for you, on, on your path, like you're overcoming them in a graceful way. This is what I'm hearing, this is what I'm saying. Even inner blocks. It's not only the blocks that we, we face in our reality, in our, our 3D reality. It's also those blocks inside that we need to work on. We need to overcome so that we can, you know, move forward in our life. It's also the emperor on the bottom of the deck. And this is your energy. This is Aries energy. Embodying the energy of the emperor. I mean, you are the Arthur, you are the director of your life. Letting go, turning your back to conflict. Like you, you don't want to, you, you will not participate in, in, into this anymore. And again, it could be a specific person, an energy, a group of people. You're not dealing with that anymore. You're not participating into this energy. Clarifying the page of pentacles, please. The page of pentacles, thank you, spirit. We have the five of cups. There is a sense of loss here, but there's also a sense of gain. There is gain. Sometimes we need to lose something to, to, to gain something. And I am seeing this here. You are aware of that and you are ready. You, you, you are ready for that. You are aware of that and you're ready for that. This is your energy, the king of wands. This is you. Inspiring others to do what you are doing here, Aries. You are definitely an inspiration. Maybe some people do not understand you or again, I'm getting this um, energy of like, of, of jealousy because you do stand out. You stand out from the crowd. <laughs> You stand out from the crowd. You're standing strong in your power. Like nothing and no one can really affect you because you are embodying the energy of the emperor. And you do take the actions that you are shown to take. For some of you, it may be like, for some of you, it may be, it, it takes a little bit uh, more like time for you to like start rolling, yes? But when you start, you won't stop until you get to the finish line. We have the King of Cups here. Let's see. The King of Cups. Can we find the King of Cups? This water energy here. Now, this King of Cups is in this, this energy of lack. Five of Pentacles. Now, again, it could be that you are dealing with someone. Um that you know things are not moving forward they're, things are not moving forward they're, they're slow they're, they're very slow like they're not moving forward it's not moving forward it's not giving you aries what you want and again it could be a person a job it's going to be different for each and every one of you and again you do have enough information with the page of swords you have enough information to do what you have to do i hope this is making sense yes 
to move forward with the chariot. Okay? So again, you have enough information. So you know exactly what you have to do, Aries. Okay? So let's see. Um, what is your spiritual message advice for the month of September? For Aries, please. Thank you. We have duck, duck. Healing, skillful navigation. I navigate the worlds of spirit, creativity, and emotion with grace. You will move through tricky circumstances without becoming entangled, entangled, entangled in drama, negativity, or ego. Your inner self knows how to guide you through any situation. Do not worry about what others think or say about you. The truth will shine through and nothing else will stick to you. You are encouraged to look beyond the worlds you know into other realities and ways of being, trusting that you can adapt and thrive. Use nourishing oils to create to creative, to creative a protective barrier for your skin. As you apply the oil, imagine you are also applying a layer of psychic protection. This is what I got for you, Aries. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.